Just a few short days ago, on December 3rd, almost 1,500 people gathered at the steps of City Hall in Virginia Beach in order to show support for an emergency resolution to be added to the docket so that Virginia Beach could become a Second Amendment sanctuary city. The resolution, which has yet to be voted on or even put to the floor for a vote, was brought about for citizens' concern that new laws entering the Senate bill for vote on January 8th in the Virginia government are too restrictive for gun owners and are concerned that their Second Amendment constitutional rights are being taken away. Chief among the concerns of the trio of bills which have entered the Virginia Senate for vote on January 8th are that they ban specific rifles commonly used for self-defense, sporting, and recreation. But Senate Bill 16 is not the only bill which has been introduced in order to help curb the rights of Virginian citizens. No, there are actually three. Senate Bill 16, Senate Bill 18, and Senate Bill 64. Of the three bills entering the floor of the Senate for a vote, it is Senate Bill 16 which aims to change the definition of an assault rifle, specifically skipping over assault weapon because the terminology is overused, and reclassifying a new definition of an assault firearm. This gives Virginia very specific ability to create any kind of legislation and definition for what an assault firearm is, generally adding additional constraints from even the most constricted firearm states like California. Of the three bills, proposed for vote in the Senate floor on January 8th, it's Senate Bill 64 that's the most heinous. This bill aims to make it illegal for people to assemble with rifles and firearms, specifically calling those types of actions paramilitary actions. And it also intends to classify such actions as Class 5 felonies. Among the things that will be classified as paramilitary activities are assembling, specifically at a rally, or any time of activity with your firearm that could cause an intimidation factor upon someone watching, viewing, or seeing that rifle. And as we know, if you have your rifle walking from your house to your car to go to the gun range, just that act right there could be considered intimidating. Another enumerated classification of paramilitary activity is actually firearm safety training. Specifically, if that safety training ever leads to a use of that firearm in a self-defense situation. If so, the individual that used the firearm, the trainer that taught the individual, and the facility which the training was conducted will all be liable and is guilty of a Class 5 felony. These kinds of restrictions make it almost impossible for Virginians to be able to practice their Second Amendment rights. As we know, concealed carry and firearm owners alike are some of the most law-abiding citizens in the country. These laws, Senate Bill 16, 18 and 64 adversely affect the ability of Virginian citizens and citizens across the United States as this movement spreads from being able to protect themselves and their family. The Second Amendment was written as a safeguard against tyranny. It was not written for hunting and sporting. And that safeguard is being eroded every day. I'm Robert Hamm for Virginia's Second Amendment News reporting. Thank you for watching.